The 12th suspect involved in that deadly shootout between two biker clubs is out of a hospital and in jail. 33-year-old Deja Dotson and 11 others facing two murder charges and one count of aggravated assault. More than 150 rounds flew through the air during that weekend shootout on Sandbar Ferry Road. Several people recovering from injuries, two people lost their lives. And now after months of planning, today was the first active shooter training for the city. And as you can see, it was a really busy day. There were up to 20 local and state agencies involved in this hands-on training. Our Nick Veland spoke to agents at the training who say real life moments like this. This makes the difference in life and death. Multiple agencies came together to put to test training for an active shooter situation. With incidents as early as this past weekend, local officials know that these trainings are crucial. Shots rang out at Laney's homecoming and you can hear the fear that followed. Then, just this past weekend at Sandbar Ferry Road, the sheriff called it a wake-up call. Over 150 shell casings were recovered at the scene. The way we look at it, gun violence is a major public health problem in the U.S. Uh, it's a complex problem. It's why Dr. Alejandra Baez has been working for three years to create better response plans when active shooters strike. Uh, sadly, you know, we have to prepare for the worst. Um, and the idea is hopeful of us, prepare for the wars. Which is the training you see happening today. More than 15 agencies coordinating their response. And this is an opportunity for us to train together, to work together, and to try to start the process of utilizing the NFPA 3000. NFPA 3000 is a national response already used statewide in a few states, but not Georgia. Augusta is the first in the state calling it hashtag strong Augusta, making this a community effort. If the idea is that the entire community is involved, that everyone, not just in Augusta, Richmond County, right, um, in the in, in the in, um, adjoining neighborhoods as well. They all are, are practicing for this horrible eventuality as well. Because a quick response can be the difference in lives saved. With this being the first training with this new response method, agencies are now debriefing and figuring out what went right and what went wrong. In Augusta, Nick Veland on your side. Now next month, leaders who organized all of this will share what they learned today at a national conference in Vegas. There's also one coming up in D.C., and they're hoping to encourage other states, other counties to start the same type of program.